again internet. It has been approximately like five minutes since I've recorded last because we're being crazy people today. I have come prepared with makeup wipes because I know there's a palette in this box. Um, I'm not 100% sure of which palette that I got, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Excuse me while I tea. And stab myself in the eyeball with my, my, my sugar fork. It's fine. Okay, so this is like a ridiculous little moment, but this is my little teacup thing, my little tea thingy, and then it's a fish. <laughs> I love it so much. I got this at Kroger, which is a grocery store for people who don't know that, and then I also got this lovely little mug around Halloween. It says, oh my goth, and I also love it, and I just dropped my cat into my tea. Great. And because editing is for suckers... You guys are going to see all of this, so I'm so sorry. Alright, so next I am going to unbox my Tribe Beauty Box. And this uh, this month's collaboration is with a YouTuber whose name is Porcelain. I don't, I don't really know her, um, but I like the fact that Tribe does collaborations with different like YouTubers and influencers and stuff. It seems like for each of their boxes they do that, so that's really cool. Um, now this box is $34.99 every two months, so it's not going to be a monthly box like something like BoxyCharm is, so it is every two months. My next one is going to be in Mar March? No. April. April is when it will arrive. So. Oh dear. Okay. Cool. This is the first time that I've ever gotten this box, so I'm really excited. Now, so they include a card that is porcelain, apparently. I love her hair. It's very pretty. Um, and this also tells you about what is in the box and the amounts or the, the values of each product. So we have two masquerade masks. This one is the Detox Diva. I love the packaging on this. This is actually so cute. And this is, okay, it's in a different language. All right, I am startled. Basically you put this on your face and it's supposed to make your face happy. Um, Okay, and I guess you're supposed to sleep in this. Uh, maybe? I don't really know. This is very confusing. Like, these are languages I do, like obviously this is in English here, but the rest of it is in different languages. So I'm gonna use my context clues and assume that this goes on for 10 to 20 minutes because I see 10 to 20 on here. So this one is a hydrating facial sheet mask. This is their Detox Diva Cleanse, Exfoliate, and Detoxify. And this one is their hydrating facial... Okay, I guess they're both hydrating facial sheet masks. And this one is the Beauty Restore. Um, this is Restore, Nourish, and Relax. This one also appears to go on for 10 to 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this has stuff like argan oil, superfruit e extracts, green algae, and vitamin E. It also looks like it has lavender oil, so it is supposed to help you relax and stuff so that you can go to sleep, which is really cool. So I am down for that. And these are $6 each, apparently. Now, they had two different palettes that were available for this box. Um, initially when I had signed up, they were doing, well, when I saw it, they were doing the Suva Beauty Block Party palette, which is a really fun palette with a bunch of really fun colors. I ordered my box after the boxes with that palette had run out, so I got the Saffron palette instead, which, from what I've seen online, is beautiful. 
I've never gotten the chance to use any of the Suva Beauty products, but I've seen them for years. I've like absolutely gawked over their Hydra Liner line. Um, they have these eyeliners that you can use for all kinds of different things. And you dip your brush in water and use that and it makes your stuff amazing. Like it's beautiful. Like, you can do so much with them. They have a billion colors. It's gorgeous. And we are bouncing because I am using this really weird little tripod thingy. So, so this is our saffron palette. I'm going to take the protective plastic covering off, maybe. Okay, that was much easier than it and <laughs> seemed like it was going to be. You get a pretty nice size mirror. So you get a pretty nice size mirror here, but I'm not going to blind you guys with it and then these are the shades so you get nine different shades in the palette everything is a different spice so we have coriander saffron cinnamon paprika turmeric ginger star anise sarso and clove so i'm gonna swatch some of these because they're beautiful like from everything Ooh, okay hello what i saw on oh my lands okay what I saw online is true. These are gorgeous. Alright. We're going to have to go over that one again because it's a really light color. And then we're going to go in one. Okay. I always have such a hard time with matte shades. <coughs> so up top here we have cinnamon. And this is saffron and then you can't really see it unfortunately in my lighting you get a little bit and that is coriander which is a really pretty just like gold tone shimmer so I really like that that's really beautiful like that saffron color is just whoa all right and now I'm going to swatch the rest of it so, okay, paprika's a little bit. So this is really nice because you rarely get, like, red reds. You usually get, like, really pinky-toned reds. I feel like this is more of, like, a red red. So that's really nice. And, oh my lord. That's so gorgeous. And then we are going to go into ginger which is just a really basic white shade which is fine my skin's being okay that's really weird why are you okay all right so that chunks up kind of weird if you try to layer it too much so be aware of that so this is uh paprika turmeric and then down here we have ginger, and when I went back over that to try to swatch it a little bit deeper, that one clumped up really weird. I'm hoping it doesn't do that when you use it on the eyes, but I guess we will find out. That is what wear tests are for. Holy crap, that pigment is like staining my skin. But it's fine. And then we are going to go into the last three colors. And we have, okay, star anise, you're a little bit weirdly textured, but all right. That's really pretty though. Star anise, sarso, whoa, sarso, whoa. <laughs> That's gorgeous. And we have clove. See, I always have, mm, I always have such a really hard time with matte shades. So we have clove down here. This is Sarso, and then we have this one. This is Star Anise, which is like a really pretty goldy brown color. Like, this palette's really gorgeous. Um, I've never used any of Suva's products, but like I said, I've been lusting it after them for years. So I'm really in excited and enthusiastic to give these a try. So that is the Saffron Palette. This retails for $35, which I, I don't know if I would pay $35 for this. I like 
the color story, the shades are beautiful. I just don't know that I'd spend $35. But that's something that with wear testing and everything, I'll be able to determine like value wise how I feel about that. Do -do -do. All right. Next we have the Luxie Beauty Flawless Eye Set, which I've heard so many good things about these brushes. I love their packaging too. Like this is so cute. Everything's all wrapped in nice. Okay, so they have included a mini flat angled brush, a mini tapered brush, a mini angled brush, and a mini round brush. These are cruelty free, synthetic um, brushes. Goodness, forgot how to say words. Okay. Yeah, these are cool. So these are the brushes. And it would be nice if I could remove them from whence they came, but you can't say that their packaging is not super, super good. Um, and it's got the name of what each brush is. This is the mini flat angled brush. This is the 141 mini round brush. This is the mini tapered brush. And then we have our mini angled brush. It's a really nice basic little eye set. I really like the rose gold, it's really pretty. Um, this set typically retails for $30. They're really soft bristles too, which is nice. And I'm gonna do like a little pull test. We don't have any like flyaways, which is really nice. That's really important. Um, I got the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush collaboration and this is the first time I've ever bought any of Morphe's brushes. I don't like them. At least not the collaboration. Now I don't know if their single brushes are better. I'm just not a huge fan of the collaboration brushes. I don't feel like they are as soft as I'd like them to be. They also have a lot of like flyaways a little bit like Eh, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm really not. Like, I have brushes that I got from BH Cosmetics for half the price for triple the brushes, and they're great. But the Morphe brushes that I got, those Jaclyn Hill brushes just were not my jam. I'm still, like, I haven't returned them. I'm still using them. I actually, so even in the eye look that I did today, I opted like I started with my Morphe brushes and then I was like no and I went and I grabbed my BH brushes and I finished my eye look with that and I was much happier with the process so if that says anything which I mean I don't know what I'm talking about nine times out of ten so we'll we'll take that for face value now I okay yes so the IBY Beauty liquid to matte lipstick and you could get this in either berry, berry, or naked. Okay. So that's not the shade that I got. I didn't get either one of those shades. It appears that I got a shade called Flirt. Okay, which is a very nudie, a nudie pink, which is really pretty. I'm actually sort of glad I got this one because I wasn't a huge fan of the other options so oh yeah that's really pretty okay so that is the color that's actually really nice I'm I'm actually not mad about that at all it's gorgeous um and so this is a liquid to matte lipstick and it is twelve dollars and then finally we are at our last item which I am interested I'm interested about this so I have never really heard of or used face oils um I have combination like oily to dry skin so I am always like if I'm like okay I'm gonna put more oil on my face I'm a little worried about that now this one heavens apparently I can't open it Okay, 
We're trying. We're getting there. We will make it. And we have done it. Okay. So this is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Face Oil. Um, it seems like Wander Beauty is working with a lot of subscription boxes lately. I've seen a couple of subscription boxes that have had their, um, their mascara. Okay. Um, their mascara and then this, this is the face oil. I haven't seen this in any other boxes, but I've seen them a lot more. I had not heard of them prior to watching a bunch of unboxing videos, so I'm interested to try their products. Um, this packaging is so pretty though. So it's that really gorgeous metallic -y ombre pink, which I'm obsessed with. And then we've got this weird little, little thing thing here. Lid. Lid is the word I was looking for. Okay. I don't know how this is supposed to work, so I'm just going to like squints a little bit. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything. Oh, okay. Weird. It's got like a little bit of a scent to it. Um, it just makes the back of my <laughs> my hand oily. But it actually does, it's not that bad. It's not like a, oh, I'm a seal now kind of oily. It's like a, okay, your hands actually could probably use this in their lives kind of oily. Um, and this is designed to, it's a blend of eight Lightweight beauty oils that instantly restore skin's youth, balance, and glow. Let's see if we have any interesting information here. Okay. So it includes raspberry, meadow, foam, evening primrose, geranium, and some other stuff that's not included on the packaging. Do we have... Okay. Yes, we do have instructions. Or, not instructions. We have ingredients so hopefully this doesn't break my skin out I'm always really worried about things like oils and like face products and stuff because I have really sensitive skin that I often forget I have sensitive skin but my skin does not hence why in this video I am not doing the foundation thing because I felt like I had tortured my skin enough last video um, so we will not be doing that for a minute because we're having creative differences so yes and that is $48. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of money. I really hope that it makes my face very happy. Um, that's a lot though, like $48 for that is quite a bit. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the Tribe Beauty box. I'm interested to see what they do for the next box. I'm also really excited to give these products a try. I really love the um, the palette's gorgeous. That lipstick is really pretty. It's been a couple minutes now and it's mostly dried down. So you can see it a little bit better. It's still really creamy even though it's dried down. So I'm interested to see how that bodes for um, like wear. Because I love matte lipsticks. I do not love the feeling that I have never had water in my life before that comes with matte lipsticks. Um, and I'm not well versed in things like lip scrubs and all of that that is designed to help you after you have lost all hydration in your body via your lips due to your liquid matte lipsticks. So. I'm hoping that it does not make me feel that way. I am also learning how to do the whole skincare thing and like the lip scrub thing, but yes. Overall, I really like this. I like that it's a mixture of products for every part of your face. Um, that's one thing that I really liked when I was looking through the descriptions. They always include an eye product, a tool of some kind, a skin product, a face product, and a lip product. So that's really nice that they always, always include those things. It makes it a lot easier to be able to sit there and say, okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a look out of it. Like you can use this whole box and do your entire face. Like you can't obviously, you know, foundation, primer, et cetera, et cetera. But for the most part, you have the bigger components to taking care of your face and glowing up before you go outside and face the cold, cruel world because it's 
February and like 25 degrees outside. It's not great. Also, neither is this bubble wrap. Anyway, so that has been my Tribe Beauty unboxing. Like I said, I will be um, posting my wear tests as I try these products out. I will be giving opinions on the skincare stuff, see how it makes my skin feel. Really hoping that it does not anger the skin gods. I tried a face mask like a month ago that I've used a bunch of masks from this brand before. This one did not do good things for me. I was burning. My face was burning. It was not a fun time. And I was like, oh, it's coconut. It's going to be great. First of all, it felt like and smelled like sour cream, which... Oh, no, I don't want that on my face. I don't want to rub it on my face. It was supposed to be like a coconut cream mask. And I'm like, yeah, this is going to be great. It was not great, guys. It was just not. It was not good. Oh, yes. And this is my little squidgy. Little squidgy. He's great. Everyone loves him, including me. But yes, face masks are important. Skincare is important. Um, yeah. So, this has been my second unboxing of the evening. It has been a very long Monday. I can imagine it has probably been a very long Monday for the rest of the universe, too, because it just seems to be an ongoing trend. I hope that everybody has a great rest of their week. You will get through it. For those of you who do the Valentine's Day thing, happy Valentine's Day. For the rest of you, happy Wednesday. When Wednesday? Thursday. Happy Thursday. But mini shout out, an important thing is happening on Wednesday. It is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. You're cool. Thank you for not feeding me to a moose. Anyway, thank you guys for visiting. Um, like, comment, subscribe down below. It's super appreciated. You can find me on Instagram at Perpetually Flustered Misfit. I do have links in that to my blog where you can see more in-depth product reviews. I have a couple of more um, subscription boxes coming this month. I have the Amber Rose slot box coming in a couple of weeks. And I do have my Ipsy coming in a couple of weeks. Or, well, actually it's probably going to be here later this week. So I will be doing those. If you guys have any subscription boxes or anything that you guys would like to see me try, please feel free to shout it out down below. I am always looking for suggestions. Um, additionally, I am actually looking for a book box subscription because I've seen quite a few of them on Instagram and I'm like, okay, all of these look really cool. I can't choose which one. I am really between like unplugged book, bleh, unplugged book box and owl crate right now. There are a couple of other ones, but those are the two big players. So if you guys have tried those, let me know. So yes, thank you guys for visiting. And as always, do no harm, take no shit, love yourselves. Bye, guys.